Hey guys, Dr. B here. I'm, uh, I'm back. You have no idea the pain I had to go through to get this item. It despawned. So I had to load a backup. Do everything all over. Like, not everything, but I had to re-get on um, uh, enchant everything. Put it, make the diamond pants. Go to the dungeon. Place in the ender eye. And defeat the end dragon all over again. Oh my god. Just me. Doing the game twice. Minecraft really should fix this. Just make it so that you can't just go onto that. Because. Jeez. That. I have to say. That really pissed me off. And hey, that wasn't a 10 sec, uh, a yeah, um, uh, one minute long intro. That's great. I'm finally getting into the group. Um, <laughs> oh, that burnt me out a lot. But, do not worry, um, I'm ready to do, uh, more, uh, videos. Oh, jeez. Here is the drag neck. Now, for any of you who are about to defeat the end dragon themselves, when you defeat, when you, um, uh, when you defeat the ender dragon in the, uh, don't, don't go for the egg first, you have to cover up the end portal with wood and then break it, like, uh, hit the egg, so it'll teleport off of it. Yeah, um, that happened. Jeez, that sucks. <sighs> All of that for one meaningless item. One item that... It's not... I just... It's a worthless item. It doesn't do anything, but... I, I do have a feeling maybe... Sometime in a very long time in the future... They will do something with the dragon egg. Um, I don't know if um uh, it'll be with actual flying dragons. Maybe you'll be able to get multiple dragon eggs. That would really ruin the value of the egg. But yeah, how does look? It look on the shit. No, that doesn't work. I'm trying to find a place to put this thing right now. Okay then, uh... Crap. Ugh, man. Well, anyway, I'm, uh... Alright, back to what I was talking about. Uh, I never got- I just spouted out real quickly, but, um, uh... Originally, on one of my, uh, worlds, uh, on the server with, um, uh, my friend, we were in the end, we feed the end dragon. So, I have the, um, uh, end drag, ender dragon egg, right? I didn't deposit it, though, right away. <laughs> what I did was, we were all hyped, we were actually really hyped up to go to the end city. So... We build up to the thing, the, um, uh, what's it called? The, um, end city portal thing. Throw an ender pearl into it. And do you know where it sends us? It sends us into the void. Yeah, that... <laughs> it sends us into the void. So, yeah, um, we both died. I think that's actually, um, uh, we haven't played on it in a while now. Because we're still bummed out about what happened. And uh, we can't really get it back. Because. Even if you wanted to create it. It's not there. I know you can slash give. But. 
That feels like cheating. Yeah, I know it. It was a glitch, but. Even then, it feels like cheating and really bums you out because you wanted the natural experience. Oh, and then you didn't get the natural experience. That's why this really bums me out, man. We have the dragon egg, though. That's what matters. I also got our levels back, which is nice. Because I don't know what the heck happened when I died there. I only got seven levels back. What? What was that? What was that? Inventory still messed up from when I died. I just picked everything up and just was panicking. I have no idea where it went. I honestly have no idea. No idea where it could have gone. Where did it go? Like, what happens? Um, uh... That's what I'm... Should we do something like that? Um, uh, where does the Ender Dragon go? Because it did not go to spawn. Where does it go then? Does it go back to the End Stronghold as an item? Is that how it works? Because that it doesn't go to your respawn point because the End Egg doesn't have a respawn point. Ugh, where did it go? Man, this entire experience has just bummed me out. Ah, uh, man. What am I, I don't even know what I'm gonna do after now. Uh, we have the egg. And some, uh, in our advancements. The end. Well, the end dragon egg. Okay, um. The wither. That is our next goal, I think. You know, I've always wondered. Which boss do you go for, for first? Do you go for the Wither, or do you go for the Ender Dragon? Because the Wither, I've always viewed it as a mini boss. It's not like the Ender Dragon. It doesn't have a lot of health. It doesn't have like giant battle setup. I thought, oh, it's this little thing. Huh. I mean... What, how much XP does it even give you for the first time you kill it? Hmm, that is a good question. It is a good question. I'm gonna put all my potions back. Um, I think that's what we go for next. Straight for the wither. <laughs> yeah. And obviously not right away, but because we still, uh, we've got all these levels, and now it is time to see how we spend them. Uh, yes. We've got an enchanting table. We've also got tons of uh, books from the um, end dungeon. I got those off camera. Where did I put those books? Where are those books? Who touched my books? Oh, there they are. Alright. That is ten bookshelves. Then we can lace these on down wherever we want. Um, I really do not want to ruin this uh, balcony, so perhaps it would be best if we just stick with this. Does this lead to the outside? Yes, it does. Um, I want to put it right here, but at the same time, this is such a good place to put it. Uh, 
I think I'm gonna put it right uh, here. I'm I gotta move these books back. Gotta move this as well. We need a new way to get upstairs. Uh, I need to move this one back. One thing uh, young me always thought was that you needed the bookshelves to be three high. That's how you get the max enchant. That's not actually how it works. It it only grabs um uh, the um uh, spell increase I like to call it that um uh, from these two top bookshelves. The the the, the bookshelves on top of it. I actually learned this um uh, from Hypixel Skyblock. I had a um uh, I had to surround uh, I had the three like a uh, a three by three thing on every single side surrounding it. But it wouldn't give me, um, uh, it wouldn't give me the, uh, high enough enchantments. So I was like, why is this happening? Turns out, cause this, the, the um, top, this, uh, third level doesn't count. It doesn't give you, uh, the thing. So yeah, that was annoying. Ugh. Alright, we need to get some more wood. So obviously we have a lot of bookshelves left. I mean, of books. Book. Uh, young me would like be so mad if I'm a. Uh, um, this is now this gets in the way of this area. What? What am I supposed to do? Isn't this fantabulous? Right, um, I am gonna see. Yes, it works. Placing. This is my old armor set, so it's kind of reminiscent of uh, what we used to be. Why do I- oh yeah, it's brightness, that's why. Ah. Man. Alright, kinda pumped for the Wither Boss, but, man. Has any of that ever happened to you guys? The, um, uh... Man, this episode was- the episode was going so well until that happened. Ugh. Ugh. Can't shake it out of my mind. Alright, something I'm gonna do here is we're actually gonna grab some wood. And there's a little thing we can do. Yes, lip. Uh, we can take, I think maybe it was smooth stone or uh, just normal cooked cobblestone. You can, uh, what is all this stuff? How do you make that? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, what? What? No. Use it's really laggy. Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe it's because. Yeah, that's why. Oh, this is a lot of interesting stuff. Awesome brick. Oh, that's how you make crack bricks, isn't it? Alright, uh, now we take this stone right here, grab two sticks, bam bam, then do that, and one stone, and I did it wrong. How do you do it? Uh, man, I feel young again looking for cracking recipes. Not the stone cutter, we need... A little thing called oh yeah, lecture analysis exists. That's cool. Um, where is it? Yes, the grindstone. We need a stone slab. We have those actually. From uh, I went uh to get some uh, more resources. I wanted more building resources, so I went over to the um uh and the uh giant portal we found. Oh, did I throw them away? Uh, no. Come on, man. Oh wait, they're still here. Yes, I went over to that old portal. And grab some of those uh, bricks because 
Those are quite hard to get. You can't craft them that easily. Oh, yeah. Uh, bam. Bam, bam. Bam. The grindstone. And now, with this grindstone... My uh, armor sure took a beating, but... With the grindstone, we can now take... Uh... Put it right there. We can take our, uh... Let's say our diamond leggings. We can take them, throw them into here, gain some XP back, and throw them back into here to get better um, enchantments. That is such a good... I think that is a great idea on the Minecraft team's part. Now, all we need is um, something that allow us to only uh, take out certain enchantments we don't want. Something um, also that's strange that I want to point out is whenever you um, uh, throw in an item that, say, say has the curse enchantments, like Curse of Binding or Curse of Vanishing, you can't remove that enchantment, which is really strange. Oh, don't want to put it in there. Ah, uh, yes. Protection 5... Uh, oopsies. Ignore that. That that didn't happen. The crap one. I gotta get protection five again. That's not protection five. You guys are probably slapping your faces right now and being like, "Oh, Luke, what, what, Doctor Phil, what do you do?" <laughs> I know. Shame. Oh yeah, we can do this to our pickaxe now as well. So that's always cool. Um, I want to get fortune. Is it worth doing that? I want to be guaranteed fortune, but I'm breaking three. is also really nice. Ah, uh, that is booby. Not not good. I'm just gonna repeatedly grind this until I get guaranteed fortune. Or, that is not fortune. I don't want to waste my levels. Oh, that's efficiency 5. I what the heck not. Yes! Oh, look at that pickaxe! Unbreaking 3, efficiency 5. Oh, efficiency 4. And fortune 3. That is an amazing pickaxe. Phenomenal. Phenomena. Ah, <laughs> uh, little memories. Alright, uh, the only thing we need now is the diamond sword. Uh. What can we do now? Uh. Mining trip. Oh! You know what? I actually want to show you something. Something neat that I actually figured out a while ago. Draw that in there. Alright, we just- oh yeah. Oh darn it, I left my horse! Crap, uh. But, um, uh, we need to head towards the extreme hills biome. And from there... Uh, I'll harvest that later. We can find something really cool. Yes, I'm saying the word cool. I really need to harvest that as well. I have not harvested in a while. Alright. Perhaps, um, uh, we'll take a break from the adventuring, or maybe we could continue the adventuring. Alright, I don't know. I don't really know. What should we do? Yeah, uh... For, um, what, what the heck is that? That looks like a cloud that's actually, no, that's, never mind. I wonder if I should, uh, do another build. Like, maybe add some, like, a farm area. Like, a giant farm. Like, big. And having, not having a horse is really annoying. But then again, I can, uh, traverse some um, through things more easily like I couldn't do this as a horse could I now yes we have llamas over here and that's a really strange thing I also found that's a chunkier 
Alright, we're very close to what um, uh, I found. Alrighty. Now, as you can see over here, we have desert. I already um, uh, found uh, the desert temple over there. So if we go, a yeah, there's a desert temple. So if we go a little bit further, there it is! That, my friends, that right there is a mesa biome. Now, I really want, where am I getting all the gold from? This is where I'm getting it from. Look at this fantastic biome right here. This was actually going to be the biome that won the, uh, uh, the new mob, the vulture. But instead we got a phantom, which I am very glad because that, um, uh, levitation thing is very good. A new unique flying mob. Not just the ender dragon. Uh, yeah. This is where I've been getting all my gold from. Very nice area. I, I really love the, um, uh, not the... This biome is not just good for its, um, uh, not just good for the loot that gives from all the, the mine shafts are fantastic. You can get so much, this is, um, uh, this is a great way if you want to, um, uh, get rails. If you have a, um, uh, mine shaft, like, mesa biome near you, that is how you're gonna get rails. I really wanna complete, I wanna have a rail system, actually, that comes over to here. So, yeah, I think that'll be awesome. No, oops. Oopsies. We need to, uh... I really love these biomes the most, though, for the terracotta. The terracotta, I think, is so cool. I, I love these blocks. These are such good building materials, and it's literally everywhere, which is the best part. So that's a very good reason to find mason. Now, I have some very cool info to talk to you about if you made it all the way to the end of this video. Yes, hello, you. How did I find this misapply, you may ask? Not a lot of people know this is possible, but I saw this on one of Sunday's videos, actually. And on his uh, Minecraft Hardcore series, which maybe I'll do, maybe we'll just restart the entire series and try to beat, we'll try to grasp the longest hardcore world ever. Um, I don't know if we could do it, but definitely seems in our grasp. We could do that. But, maybe I'll uh, be able to grow my YouTube channel doing that, actually. That'd be cool. How I found this map. Now, it's, uh, I know this is in the sinning, but I, I just gotta show you guys this. Here. If you search up Seed Biome Finder, really simple. This is where I got chunk base. You can put in your Minecraft world seed, and it will find you all the biomes. In this biome right here, Badlands, look how close it, you can find it to your spawn. This is, alright, this is, this right here. Let me show you, uh, what? 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 This is very confusing. Um. This right over here is zero. Um. I need to find the other one. This right here is zero zero. This little thing I'm hovering over. Not a lot of people know this because um, uh, it's really hard to expand farm, but you can find the um uh. There can be, you can find right here, if lots of people don't search in the right direction, but you, but if you do, you will f run into the Badlands map, but it's really hard to find because it's not that common. You're, you almost likely run into the casual um, uh, places. Desert, birch forest, um, uh, desert forest, snow biome. And then the, uh, the jungle and swamp. The jungle is more rare, but... Oh, that's a zombie. But anyway, um, uh, 
it really, I wouldn't say it's a cheat. Uh, it it's actually really helpful. It's um totally allowed because he, it it's Minecraft. You can do whatever you want. There's no rules. It's how you it it's more fun this way because then you don't have to do that tiresome exploring. I I don't know. Um uh. Those of you who want that experience, they can try it, but this is a fantastic way to find those biomes. As well as mushroom biomes. Yes. See this purple right here? Mushroom biome. This purple, um, uh, oh jeez. Mushroom biomes are really rare. This purple over here? Mushroom biome. Actually, on, uh, on my, um, uh, friend's server, our base, we didn't even know it, but our base is literally um, a couple hundred blocks away from a mushroom biome. And it's also, it's also right next to, it connects to the land. Do you know how hard it is to find one of those? Like a mushroom that actually connects with chunks of land? Like all these you see right here, they're all not connected to land. There's thousands of blocks away. Ours connect to land. It was, it was amazing. But yeah, I have no idea where I am, <laughs> but yeah, definitely go check that website out, try it yourselves. Um, seeing how there is nothing left to do in this video, um, we're gonna, we get, sorry, but we gotta do this outro, okay? Videos can't last forever. This is, uh, Dr. Phil. Signing on out. Have a good rest of your day. Don't be a spoiled brat. Or else I will send you to the ranch. Peace out, guys.